What's up, everyone? Another malt review. Mikey, I'm Narby. What's up, guys? Very excited to do a very, very special bottle. Um, Highland Park, 25 year old. We just finished doing the 18, the 21, and now straight to the 25 year old. Comes in a nice little fancy box there. Comes in this black, black box. Let's pull the bottle out. Um, this particular Highland Park 25 year old is not the current version. The current version is at is it 45? 45.7. Yeah, 45.7 ABV. This one is the 48.1 ABV version. It's and the old yeah, and this was available even just a year or two ago. Um, now it's changed. So again, available worldwide Highland Park 25 year old. And um, the prices on these bottles have, have really gone up. I remember in the UK uh, about a year and a half ago it was around 110 pounds and now it's more than doubled that so it's it's pretty expensive and it's even more expensive here in the United States so that's why we were you know order them from the UK to get a little bit of a discount but very expensive whiskey just like most 25 year old whiskeys are and um, all right without further ado the Highland Park 25. I love that that big thick wooden core on the higher end, the Highland Park 25 and 30s. And you know the cork's not going bad, it's not flimsy. Immediately I can tell before the pour is even done, the color is much darker and much more beautiful, luxurious than the 18 and the 21 that we just did. And again, this and is all course, the 12. This is all of course nat natural coloring. Non-show filtered. This is beautiful, just a beautiful full gold. You're, sh you're, you're sure Highland Park is non-chill filter? This one's non-chill filter. This one, yeah, I'm, I, I, I wouldn't know. Um, I believe 50% of this, the Highland Park 25, 50% of it, I believe, is first fill sherry. So you got quite a bit of first fill sherry, and this is, this is more than, this is approaching a mahogany color. This is, uh, this is dark. This is darker than almost a dark gold. So this is um, got a nice rich color, which really suggests lots of sherry, lots of thyme and wood. On the nose. Yeah. Yeah, immediately I get, obviously the higher alcohol, 48.1%. I get um, initially a stronger alcohol blast, but it quickly dissipates. And I get a lot more flavors and a lot more complexity, a lot more variety than the 18 or 21 and way different flavors it's it's intense yeah. it's very rich it's very sweet it's very sherry um you get those traditional christmas cake flavors the cinnamon spice the brown sugar the toffee caramel one thing i get that i don't usually get with shared whiskeys not just milk chocolate dark chocolate toffee figs dates nuts i get white chocolate i get an amazing white chocolate that i've rarely gotten from the whiskey it's coming it's coming through strong um in the, in the way i get white chocolate is is its sweetness it's very sweet and white chocolate tends to be extremely sweet whereas dark chocolate tends to be a little bit more bitter um and this is a very very sweet whiskey uh, comparing it to let's say the 18 and 21 it's not as much floral it's also less mineral and um, I'm not getting as many of those light fruits um, a lot of the grapefruit lemon those kind of flavors it becomes more rich darker flavors um, more dessert like flavors the toffees the cinnamon the caramel um, do you agree? Actually, no. I, I'm getting, I get a lot of the heavy sherry, but I'm also getting like the 21 that we did previously. I'm getting a lot, not only tropical fruits and citrus fruits, I'm getting a lot of, of bright, vibrant uh, orchard fruits like apples, apricots, and plums. I'm getting nice lemon butter and cream, uh, pastry, crepes like I did with the 21, but I'm, I'm basically getting everything. Uh, pineapple, grapefruit, 
Yeah, I don't get the pineapple and grapefruit, those kind of fruits, but I hear you with the with the peach and apricot. Um, definitely get a little bit of that in terms of fresh fruit, and then in terms of the dried fruits, the figs, the dates, those kind of things. And it's changing. Like initially, it was more about the sherry, the white chocolate, but now it's changing. And each time I go back, I'm getting more of the the fruits, more of the bright, vibrant fruits. I guess you could say uh, red fruits. It's very enjoyable. It, it, it has, uh, uh, for me, in terms of going from the, again, the 12, the 18, 21, out to the 25, you definitely get um, that high end kind of, it's spent time in quality, uh, quality wood, that's for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, we'll, we'll go to the palette. Yeah, just like it's, it keeps changing, evolving. I mean, it's super complex. Again, sign of age and sign of quality casks. Again, go. Big attack, even more drying than the 21 was, where I said the 21 was really, really drying. Even more so as it keeps drying, but my mouth salivates. It's like it's it's drying, and then it's like it's it's begging for it to stay there too, and it's just salivating and it's happy in there. And as my saliva come, comes out, it gets juicy in there now, and the, the drying is releasing, very similar to the 21 but the flavors are more, they're darker, and that's the best way to describe it. Um, dark dessert flavors, very rich, very deep, long finish on this one, you know? I mean, it's, it's only been a few, you know, 10 seconds or so since I swallowed, but it's fully there still flavor-wise, so it's definitely gonna just keep lingering in my mouth. Very enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, Highland Park, if you read the back, the fancy marketing, they always talk about that drawing that you drink it, you know, chew it four or five seconds, swallow it, and then it immediately dries, but then it comes back, and then you salivate, and you're just craving more. And I think it just steps up as, you know, as it gets higher end or older, more expensive Highland Parks. This one, it is it's extremely drying. And a little higher alcohol, you know, due to the higher ABV from the 1821, but like Narm said, it, it gets so juicy. And it's like juicy, luscious fruits all the same fruits i described earlier and now they're in your mouth and you're chewing on them and it's a plus at the same time complex all those like nice first fill sherry dessert flavors toffee uh butterscotch dark chocolate milk chocolate some of the white chocolate again it's basically got everything and it's really complex yeah i'd say a lot of times when you read the box or the on the bottle the, the sometimes they'll have like tasting notes on there and a lot of times when i smell and taste it i'm like yeah maybe i get a little bit of that a little bit of that but sometimes they go a little overboard with it and i don't really i'm like oh you're hyping it a little too much but with the highland park if you read the stuff that's actually on there uh, from the company itself it actually matches up pretty well so it's almost like oh yeah definitely get that you know oh definitely i, I noticed that that uh white chocolate i agree you know instead of you know, sometimes they go overboard with all these fancy fruits, fancy things, this and that, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not getting that from this particular whiskey. But Highland Park does a good job with that, actually, I think. Um, again, I've only taken one sip of this, and it's still lingering and lingering, so very, very long finish. Maybe try, yeah. maybe try a drop of water? Um, sure, we could try a drop of water. Since, it, you know, it's 48% ABV, just see how it changes. But no, yeah, I think, I think Highland Park, um, they're, they're pretty dead on with their notes. Really, really good. I actually, um, where Mike was getting so so much fruit and I was getting more of those dark darker flavors, um, I, uh, with, with a little bit of water, I, 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 it does open up and becomes actually quite a bit more fruity, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it becomes more fruity with water. So if you're drinking this, try both ways, see how you like it. You know, and everyone's different. Like, even if it's 40%, 43%, we at least try it, you know, with water. 
but especially when it's when it's uh, cask strength or it's higher, like 40%, you've got to at least try it with a drop or two of water, see how it changes. Yeah, very enjoyable. Mm. Wow. It, it actually becomes more floral too, and it, it, it definitely becomes more mineral as well with more water. Personally, in terms of completely personal taste, I actually enjoyed it more without water. Um, I really like those intense dark flavors, and um, it, it, it kind of went went towards the more towards the 18 year old a little bit with water, uh, where I like the style of the 8, 25 year old exactly the way it's bottled. I think it's bottled perfect. Nice. Yeah, actually, the the nose, like Narb said, the fruits came out more and more, so I think it did open it up, but on the palate. I, I do agree with Norby that once you add the water, it loses a little bit of complexity. It loses a little bit of, of everything, of the fruits, of uh, the sherry notes, and a, a little bit of that light wood and peat. So yeah, I think it's for tasting, it's at a perfect uh, ABV right there in the bottle. Yeah. I, I, I really, really enjoy this whiskey, and for me, the score's at a 92 out of 100. I'll actually give it the exact same. Dead on, 92. All right, you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Let us know that if you're enjoying these videos or not. Um, and click thumbs up if you are. It lets us know that you're enjoying them, and we'll just keep doing them if you are. Thanks a lot. Take it easy.